Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I do feed in cornrows on my natural hair. I first start out by sectioning my hair with a rat tail comb in order to make sure all the sections are equal. Making sure I get my parts nice and equal is probably the hardest thing that I have to do, especially when I'm trying to do it on my own head. So I just do the best that I can and hope that my results are pretty good. So I just sped up this process because it's pretty boring just watching me part my hair. But sorry in advance for all the ugly faces that I make when I'm doing my hair. It's just, just what I do. I don't know. I can't control it. <laughs> The hardest part about doing your own hair is making sure like the parts are straight because you don't want to have no wobbly parts but like it takes forever. I have a mirror, I have this mirror, I have two lights, it's just, it's a lot. But my first part is done so now I'm going to section this piece of hair off and then start my braiding. So this is what my first section looks like, nothing too crazy, um, first I'm going to comb my hair, brush my hair, make sure everything is nice and detangled. Okay, so to start I'm going to be using, which edge can put on yours? The Curls Blueberry Bliss Control Paste. You see? Come on. Ah, oh, focus. This. Um, a rat tail comb and outro jumbo braid braiding hair in the color 1B. So to start, I'm going to section like a little piece of hair off and then start braiding and then start to feed in the hair. So much in. Okay. Get the hair wet. So at the beginning of each section, I like to spray it with a little bit of product just so it makes it easier for me to hold on to the braid when I start braiding. Putting a little bit of edge control in the right direction to make sure it's nice and smooth. Okay, so to start braiding, I'm going to have like this really, really small piece of hair. And then as I continue like the cornrow, the pieces are going to get bigger and bigger. So, yeah. My fingers are cramping! It's only the first braid. How is this happening?
so I just finished my first braid and it looks pretty good. I feel like it takes me a really long time to do this because I want to be, I want everything to be perfect because I don't have time to be starting over. Like, this took too long. <laughs> so, yeah. So basically, I just finished my first braid and I'm about to start my second, but I had to voice over what I was saying because there was a song playing in the background I didn't even realize. But yeah, I'm about to section this hair and then I'm going to start on the second one. Why is my battery always about to die? Come on. So at this point, I've started to part my hair for my second cornrow. This is a very tedious process that takes me way longer than it should, but I'm a perfectionist. Okay, so this is my second section. I'm gonna do the same thing as the first. I'm gonna comb it out, make sure it's all detangled. They flag the Mayans with their next stop. Well, we can pull teeth to stop the ID, but they can still be an A test. Forensic test on three bodies. And then put my edge control on the front. Well, this is an edge control. This is the black vanilla leave in conditioner. I just like to put this at the beginning because it's easier for me to grab. And it's like a little curly. So in order to achieve my desired look, I start with a small section and begin to braid. And then as I keep going, I'm adding a piece of hair and I'm grabbing a little bit more of my natural hair. And I just continue to do that all the way down until I have a cornrow that's firmly attached to my head. Two done. One, two, three, four, five to go. The, uh, Moving right along. Okay, so here's an update. I'm halfway done. I have four braids finished and I have this whole side of my head to go. So we're sticking through it. Okay, now I'm on my last section. I already put my Carl's Blueberry Bliss on this section and now I'm just gonna braid the last one up and I'll be finished. So I part the first section to give me a good piece of hair to grab. Then you just start cornrowing. So here I'm just repeating the process that I did on the other six cornrows, grabbing a piece of hair and adding a little bit as a cornrow further and further down my head, making sure that it's securely attached to my head because I don't want any loose braids looking all ugh, loose. But yeah, this process just takes a lot of practice, so don't get frustrated if you're not good at the first time because I sure wasn't. Okay, so now that I'm finished, I'm gonna go boil some hot water so I can soak the ends and then I will be back. So I just finished dipping my hair and the last thing I need to do is my edges. So I'm gonna be using Murray's Edge Wax and then the Curls Blueberry Bliss con Curl Control Jelly. So I start with the jelly just because I like the way it lays my edges down.
And then on top of the Curls Blueberry Bliss, I just use a little bit of Murray's Edge Wax just to secure the hold and make sure that my edges stay all day. So this is the finished look after my ends have been dipped, my edges have been laid, and everything is complete. This whole process took me like two hours, maybe like two and a half because I was parting so particular. And that's how the back looks. So this is the top view of my hair, and this is me thinking I'm cute. So if you guys enjoyed my first video on YouTube, please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next one.